How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great and I hope you're all staying safe. In today's video, we have an alternative video because on this channel, we check out every option. So today we are going to be checking out an alternative to both virtual desktop and ALVR, which are the two more popular options for streaming gaming from your computer to your Oculus Quest 1 and 2. Today we're checking out AMD Relive VR, which is something I've actually seen show up in the comments sections quite a few times. Now, this goes without saying, this is only for AMD GPUs. This is made by AMD themselves and is hopefully going to utilize the hardware's full potential. Now, if you do have an Nvidia GPU, you might wanna watch this anyway, because it's gonna be quite an interesting experiment. Now I'm going to talk about a few announcements and things that are happening, so if you do not wanna listen to that, if you're just interested in the video, skip to this part here. I don't know why YouTube's chapters aren't working. So. First things first, my Quest 2 is now officially gone for an RMA. Don't worry, it is coming back. It's gone because it was broken. So hopefully we get that back and we'll be able to make videos on it very soon because I've received some products from VR cover to do reviews on and unfortunately I can't do those right now because I don't have the device. So I'll be waiting on that to come back as soon as possible. I had a bittersweet moment yesterday where I finally kind of won against my brain and I was like, you know what, you need to send this back. It's damaged, it's broken. You paid for it, you deserve a working one. And I recorded this video. Nice and crunchy. Safe way back to the Facebook headquarters. Kinda sad, not gonna lie. This thing that I was waiting so long for, and that's hundreds of other people were waiting so long for. I don't know, I don't know. You know, we were waiting so long for it. Everyone was, everybody that had to RMA theirs, and now it's gone. But that doesn't matter. I also have received a microphone to review and check out. So maybe, you know, potentially, we're gonna be upgrading our audio hardware. Uh, I will be testing this for the next few days. We're gonna see how it works after this video. I'm gonna do a little unboxing and we're gonna see how the audio sounds. And uh, you know, we don't wanna get rid of that signature crisp audio, you know? We love ourselves some ASMR on this channel. For today's video, we're going to be using the Quest 1 because, as I said in the announcements, I don't have the Quest 2 anymore. It's coming back. It's coming back for all of you that missed the announcements. It's coming back. So, thankfully, the way I used to think you needed to do this is download the APK from GitHub. Because in case you guys don't have a PC and... Wait a minute, if you don't have a PC, you wouldn't be doing this. Okay, disregard that. We're going to be using SideQuest. If for whatever reason you want the APK, it's on GitHub, it's down below. However, we're going to be using SideQuest because this is actually on SideQuest. So for any of you that are new here, for SideQuest, you need to enable developer mode. And I'm not going to explain exactly how to enable developer mode because I did it back in the day and the process has kind of changed now. So I'm going to send you over to VR Cauldron's video on how to do that right up here. Okay, so first things first, you have SideQuest, you want to open it. Then you want to grab your headset, power it on, make sure again, developer mode is on, plug it into your PC and we're going to see if SideQuest recognizes it. So as you can see here, SideQuest is now officially recognized. So in SideQuest, you're going to want to search for Relive VR. Uh, you can search for that up here. As you can see, I've searched for Relive. It's going to be one of the first things that show up. Surprisingly, it's not the very first one. However, that doesn't matter. Then you just click install to headset. It's very, very simple. Damn, I need some coffee. I woke up way too early today, guys. So stick with me. I'm sorry if I sound tired. Whoa. Now that gives me extra FPS. So now we can see that Relive VR has successfully been installed to the headset. Perfect. Now what you want to do is you are actually, again, because this is made officially by AMD, want to launch your AMD Radeon software. That's this one right here. Now, what you're going to be greeted by is you're going to be greeted by home. I have no clue where this is in settings. So what I do is I just search for VR and, and I go into device settings and then general. And down here you see VR streaming. So that's the one we are interested in. And as you can see, it is disabled. So I'm going to enable it. Uh, you see here VR headset emulation. I'm gonna be emulating the Rift S. It doesn't have the Quest on this list yet. However, if you really wanted to, you could emulate the Vive, you could emulate the Pro, you could emulate the CV1. Either way, entirely up to you. I'm emulating the Rift S because it has the closest controller mapping. In fact, I think, yeah, no, the controllers are identical. So, you know, uh, we're not going to use a third party controller. And the bit rate, we are going to set to high because I'm using 5 gigahertz. And I recommend you guys use 5 gigahertz as well. So I'm setting the bit rate to high. Okay. Now let's hop into the headset and see exactly what we're looking at. So you may say I've scammed Oculus because 
They told me to take out the batteries from the touch controllers before I send my quest back. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take them out. Well, now they're going into my quest one. So I'm sorry, but I did exactly what you told me to. So what you want to do now is you want to just hop into library, unknown sources, and then relive VR for Oculus. Now launching this, you will see the following. So now we launch Steam VR. Now that we're running on both the headset and the computer, we launch Steam VR. This should trigger the drivers to enable, and there you go. You can now see the little icon of wireless Oculus Quest right there on the Steam VR dashboard. And you do need to complete the Steam VR setup, which is kind of interesting because none of the others actually get you to do that. You just use the Guardian built into the Quest. But hey, look, we're gonna go through it. So putting on the headset, I do actually see the Steam VR dashboard, which is really, really cool. So let me show you guys what I see. Perfectly just see Steam VR. And we're in room setup. The controllers, again, latency wise, not bad at all. Okay, got my boundaries set up. And it's too small. I mean, yeah, um, I think this is why, okay, I'm gonna need to fake it. I'm gonna go over the monitor. I am going to try Beat Saber because Beat Saber, again, is my favorite game to test these on because it requires low latency. And latency is a big problem with these because of course they are wireless. So that's why I'm trying out Beat Saber. So uh, let's test it out. And because people always, always get triggered that I only try Beat Saber, and Beat Saber is a game that already comes on the quest, I'm going to make you guys happy. I'm going to try a game that doesn't come on the Oculus Quest. By that, I mean we are going to play The Forest. I don't like the beginning, it's like horror-like, and my brain... Someone said something super smart about horror games in the comments section yesterday. Unfortunately, I... it's just something in my head, you know? Well, guys, I mean, it looks beautiful as always. Timba! Hell yeah. Well, I mean, if there isn't much more to check here. Let's conclude, guys. I mean, this, this looks beautiful as ever, uh, to be completely honest with you. Absolutely beautiful. Runs really nice, really smooth. What did I think of it? I mean, I am super impressed. I believe in the latest version. On the GitHub page, it said they added foveated rendering. And because this is made by AMD, and I have an AMD graphics card, in case any of you are wondering, I have an AMD RX 5700 XT. It works really, really well. Because it is, again, made by AMD, I believe they can utilize their hardware to its fullest potential. And I'm actually really impressed. The latency was just as good as Virtual Desktop and ALVR. The only issue I know of in this is no microphone pass through. So if you guys are playing games like VR chat or anything like that, you are going to need an external microphone, for example, a mod mic. But other than that, I am actually super impressed. And from what I have seen, I had a really smooth experience. So maybe going back to this, you know, even though I've purchased virtual desktop, this is something that is built into the system. I may be checking it out. So, and then, you know, if you try it out and you don't like it, you can always just go into the settings and disable it. I hope this video helped you guys out. Again, I've been seeing this comment around a few times asking about this AMD Relive VR. So I decided, you know what, let's check it out. I'm interested as well. So I hope this video was informational. I hope you guys found out something new. And if you guys liked it, please give it a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too. But please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys want to join the club, if you guys want to join the community, we have a Discord down below. We also have a Reddit down below. And if you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape or form, we have merch down below, mysticalstore.com. Our mugs boost your FPS by 300%. It's a stated fact the scientists told me. And we don't put a massive ad on your body. So if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. Somebody said they were going to put me in as the next Eminem, and I am so proud, guys. So, so proud.
Peace.